Alright, I couldn't resist doing this one. I just saw another good piece of proof of what Alex Jones really is. And I think we should keep track of these golden items and make a list and keep them on repeat so people don't lose perspective on what we're really dealing with. I love it when something like this happens because uh, it's, it's, it's like getting money in the mail. Uh, it's proof. And phew, it's unfortunate that even though your gut instinct is 100% to convince other people you need proof, Oh, and they should just rise up and stop the obvious injustice of things. Anyhow, I just watched a video of Howard Stern's broadcast the day after the debate between Pierce Morgan and Alex Jones on CNN about gun control. It was great. Of course, they're laughing about it. Uh, something like that would make Howard Stern just have a field day. And him and his assistant Robin, they're they're going back and forth, laughing about Alex Jones and the way he looks like a crazy person. He's screaming, and I'm thinking, oh, yeah, because that was an act, and he was up there to make gun owners look bad, and that was the idea. And uh, just basically making Pierce look right, even though he's wrong. And so they're making fun of him, but the key, the proof, was Stern acted like he didn't know who Alex Jones was. I mean, sincerely. He didn't even remember his name. He's like, that guy, this guy comes on Pierce Morgan show. They invited this guy on Pierce Morgan show, just pretending like it was like a random person. Alex Jones has had in-face negotiations with Howard Stern for years about getting on Sirius Satellite Radio. They know each other. And at the end of the broadcast with Howard Stern, he even said, I think he even has a radio show. So, you know, that's blatant. Acting like he didn't even know who Alex Jones is when it is documented that they were in person-to-person -person negotiations with uh, Mel Carmazan about how Alex Jones is going to get on Sirius Satellite Radio with XM for uh, having his show on Satellite Radio. So, uh, something like this is great because if you ever have doubts, you know, because sometimes Jones can be convincing, you know, he tells you what you want to hear, makes you feel like there's a chance, and that all the little things that like people like me trying to point out, they get kind of swept under the rug, regrettably, because of all the overwhelming uh, pulchritude that he has, and uh, the alacrity with which he uh, keeps up the persona. But if you ever done theater, you know, I, you see him going off, 1776, because we'll rise again, the Republic, you try to take our guns, the idea was to just help Diane Feinstein introduce her bill that this is urgent that we take guns away from these, this type of person. Alan Dershowitz, the most famous lawyer in the world, uh, was on right after Alex Jones was supposedly kicked out of the studio to say, that is exactly the type of person I do not want to have a gun. So here, Alex Jones is the representative example of an American defending the right, the Second Amendment right, to have firearms. And he is the exemplar of that idea, followed by the most famous lawyer in the world saying, no, I don't think that guy should have guns. It's a formula. And of course, everyone involved with the decision-making is Jewish. Zionists, Howard Stern, Alan Dershowitz, <laughs> Zionists is they typify the uh, Jewish stereotype to a T, and even then more so. Ah, uh, you know what I've said if you follow my channel, Alex Jones works for an Israeli disinformation company called Stratfor. And they fund everything about Infowars. So the idea is he's an actor. And that's all there is to it. Things like this prove it. Howard Stern obviously knows who Alex Jones is. He's known who he is for a very long time. So, spread the word, geez. I mean, I just think we can seize on Alex Jones intellectually and use him as an example 
to educate people about what's really happening. Because there's a team of disinformation people, but he's the spearheading person that gets on CNN and makes a fool out of himself on purpose. So go to it. Just, you know, just Howard Stern, uh, Pierce Morgan, Alex Jones debate. You can watch it. Proof. <laughs> Much needed proof.